can transfer printed images and text onto wood with this tutorial brought to you by favecrafts.com. You need to print your images on a laser printer. This is very important. Your regular color inkjet printer will not work. The ink will simply run. If you don't have a laser printer at home, chances are your local library or school has one. If you're using text, be sure to print it backwards. You can do this by clicking on printer settings and selecting mirror image or reverse image. Cut out your images and lay them face down on untreated, unpainted wood. You're going to need to buy acetone for this project. You can find it by the paint thinner in the hardware department of any mass merchandiser. I know you're wondering whether you can just use the nail polish remover you have in your cupboard. It does work to some extent, but the image will be much darker if you use pure acetone. Wear a pair of rubber gloves because this chemical is harsh on skin and it will ruin your manicure. Pour the acetone directly on top of the paper. Let the paper absorb the acetone, then use the blunt end of a knife or spoon to rub directly over the image. Treat the paper like you would a scrapbooking rub-on. Make sure you're rubbing firmly over the entire image. Try not to tear the paper. in small areas at a time, rather than scribbling over the whole picture at once. This will help ensure that you're not missing any areas. Hold the paper in place with one hand so it doesn't shift while you're rubbing. You can add more acetone if you need to. If you're looking for great free clip art, my favorite site is the Graphics Fairy. All the images on that site are available for personal use or for use in projects that you resell. Check to see that your image is transferring properly. I'm not too happy with the way the letter N turned out, so I'm going to touch up that spot with some more rubbing. I'm reusing my original paper. That looks a little better. I wanted to see how a photo would turn out, so I tried this one. It didn't turn out as nicely as the printed pen drawing of the bird. One reason is because the photo has such a dark background, and it's hard to ensure that you're rubbing every spot of such a large area. I think a photo would turn out fine as long as it was high contrast and had a white background. Wait a few minutes for the wood to dry, then coat it with a layer of clear protective sealant. I bought this Krylon spray that is UV and water resistant at a craft store. I saw it later by the spray paints in Walmart for less than half what I paid for it, so you might want to check there first. Let the first coat of sealant dry, then add a second coat. This cute little welcome sign is going in my garden. Special thanks to favecrafts.com. For more project ideas and tutorials, visit www.madebymarzipan.com.